Take one. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Put it away. Take two. What's up guys, Jeremy here from LSAPC and Mitchie. We are here with another installment of 31 Nights of Halloween Horror Movie Reviews. You know the drill, tonight we are going to draw another movie from the bucket. We've got the bucket here. Uh, we're going to pull a movie, whatever that movie is. We are going to go watch that movie. While we're watching the movie, we're going to run the trailer for all of you guys to see. Mm -hmm. That way you can get an idea of whether you've seen it, whether you want to see it, all those good things. Once that trailer's over, we will come back, we will have watched the movie, we will tell you our review, zero to five stars, let you know what we thought of the movie, but before we get into any spoilers, we will definitely let you know ahead of time so that you can stop the video and come back at a later time after you've seen the movie. So, mm -hmm. before we do anything else, Mitchie, tell them what to do. Like this video, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, comment down below if you've watched any good horror movies lately. And hit the bell for notifications for when we do post videos. And we will be posting videos every night of the month of October for our 31 Nights of Halloween Horror And sometimes videos. extra. Yep, and maybe even a few extra. We'll see. So anyway, let's get down to the business. Uh, let's pull a movie. Is it my turn or is it's it your yours? your turn. All right, so your bucket. And these are the movies that we haven't seen. We've got a whole bunch over here that we have. If you've not checked out the other videos, definitely go back and check them out. We, uh, you should be able to go back through our channel here and watch each and every one of them. Let's see what we pull tonight. Okay. All right. Oh, you. This is a classic. I don't even know about I'm classic, but this is a again. gore fest. If you are afraid of clowns, oh. do not watch Terrifier. Uh, this is right. what we're watching tonight. We will show you the preview again. If you do not like clowns or you are afraid of clowns, definitely you might not even want to watch this preview. But here it is, and oh. we'll be back after we watch the movie. Stay tuned. over your shoulder. What if that guy did this to your car? <laughs> what guy? The clown? Do you really think someone slashed my tires? Well, he knows this is your car. He saw us getting into it earlier. Look, that guy was a harmless. He was just some douchebag in a costume acting like a retard because it's Halloween. All right, guys, we have watched the movie, and as you can see, I have a big smile on my face. I really enjoyed it. You um, get your clown debut ready. Yeah, I'm already looking for my Halloween costume. I, I, it's just fantastic. You didn't order that. <clears throat> no. So anyway, uh, before we get into any reviews or anything that we talk about, um, Mitchie, zero out of five stars, what do you give this one? It's different. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure this out because... Let's, let's do a 
3.75. I'll do a Jeremy here. All right, 3.75. I am giving this one a 4.68. I'm giving okay. this one a high four and a half. Um, this is a absolute gore fest. It is. Disturbing. I wasn't ready for that. Uh, disturbing, horrifying, terrifying on every level. I have never, and I mean like this stuff doesn't bother me, so, which that sounds really bad, but it, it's very, gore. it is, I mean. It's beyond gory. This is in my top three and, and, of like gory, and it might yeah, be in my top one. Actually. Absolutely, and also number one creepy clown. Like, I mean, I, he wouldn't have been. I think Pennywise would have been. Okay, well, been. then he gets a five. He actually gets a five from Clownwise because yes. he, it, that is a. Yes. I mean. Uh, we'll get into a, a few spoilers here shortly, and that will kind of, I mean, on so many things, I would rate this a five overall on a number of aspects. Uh, there's a few things that I would bring it down, um, and because of those, I'm giving it a 4.5, but I will give you all that information here in just a second when we get into the spoilers. So if you have not seen this movie, um, if you are squeamish, if you are faint of heart, do not watch this. If you're afraid of clowns, do not watch this. Yeah, um, yeah. If you are a fan of horror movies and if you are a fan of slasher films and kind of gory, and grotesque one, the sight of... then this movie is for you. <laughs> Basically, imagine what it would be like to be a coroner. So uh, watch it, and um, if you haven't watched it, then stop here. Go watch it or don't. If you do go back and watch it, be sure to come back and let us know your thoughts on it. Uh, if you have seen it, carry on with us. But now we will get into spoilers, so consider yourself warned. We'll be right back. Holy sh you yikes. You can't say the word. I can say it. <laughs> Holy yikes, that movie. There's something wrong with Man, that. And I've seen it before, but it just... I have it. It just... My, it's so uh, disturbing. There are certain body parts that hurt. Yes. So, guys, uh, every scene, every you, single kill. And here's the... We can't even explain this to them. Yeah, some of it we there can. There is not a storyline. Well, but the, the, it, the whole thing starts in the pizza place. No. And, well, it starts outside and, and, and then carries into the pizza place. But when he sits there in the pizza place and they have the stare down and he acts all creepy. I mean, you just know that things aren't going to be right with this guy. You just know it's creepy from the get-go. It, uh, it all starts with a TV interview. Well, it does. Fact. It starts, and that's what I love about this movie, too, is that it full circles all the way back. So it does start with a TV interview and the the deformed woman uh, ultimately killing the, the TV host. And um, we weren't really sure what the point of that was until you watch the rest of the movie. And then you can tell that there's some major trauma to the girl in the end who survives. And she now carries on the legacy, I guess. I don't know what. Um, well, stay tuned for Terrifier 2. <laughs> which is coming out in 2022. So, uh, really. but then when when the, it all sets in and, and the clown shows up and you're like, oh my God, this is great. This clown is creepy, terrifying, awesome. Uh, and then he starts kind of stalking those, the girls. And he proposes to one. Yes, he proposes to one. And his With teeth a cute are little all, ring out of a 25 cent machine. His teeth are all bloody and nasty. And he goes in and... and mm. It destroys the bathroom, <laughs> but but he's got and crappy hands know throughout the we, whole movie. Crappy y'all know hands. what we mean. Uh, so he he comes out. Uh, anyway, the guy goes in to clean it, and then you got the decapitated head that looks like a jack o' lantern. Yeah, that was really cool. That was a cool one, and then he kills the other person. But these kills in this movie, let's just talk about some of them. Now, don't start with the obvious one because no, wow. we're we're gonna say we're gonna put this in a host. It's in like hostile, but well, so so yeah. I mean, you've got a foot stomping through a skull. You've got shooting somebody in the face fifty times. You got the uh, you've got so many. You get the girl hit by the truck in the end. You get all these things right, and all these really gory, and disgusting. Getting whipped with a yes, whipped with a scalpel blades. Yes, 
all kinds of disturbing things, but let's now talk about the scene. The scene that hurts. <laughs> the scene that would make any woman squirm in their chair when he's got that woman chained upside down, hanging from her legs, and saws her in half <laughs> all the way down, starting at the lady parts. All the way <laughs> hurts. That was and it disturbing. Show, and they show it. Oh, every oh, bit of it. Let's move on to, can I, can, that's gross to start off with. Yes. But what's even more disturbing is that he's... Scalpel the girl? Scalps the lady. Scalps the lady. That's not as disturbing as well. But what a great scene that is. What does he do? I mean, but He the, takes the woman's hair. And her... <laughs> and other he, stuff and he puts it on and pretends to be like this other girl's sister <laughs> this whole thing and he has his head down so it look i mean and this guy's really like girly and he built. chases her around with that woman's so it was head like michael and and no it's like on. it was like leather face like when he the old <laughs> style and like gosh dang and then just chase with nothing the fact that we even like this movie says too I much mean, about us I, uh, is all I can say. Uh, he's over here squeezing my hand for dear life, though, and that chainsaw they, was doing that. And they, I'm like... They chopped that kid guy's head off, and then he sawed through it and yanked it open. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Oh, that wasn't even bad. Yeah, but I have a phobia of of the slit throat slit thing. And that, you could see his vertebrae. Right? So, so I, I can't... Really like, um, I can't process that. I had my eyes closed for part of the sawing through the yeah, neck thing. I never I don't them. have that. Uh, I started closing my eyes for that one that. scene, and then, like, you're squeezing my hand so tight, like, where you're in labor over there, and <laughs> I'm like... No, I just couldn't believe we were watching I'm that. like, now you know how girls feel, like, when they have kids. Oh, man, i tell you what. Anyway, um, this movie is absolutely disturbing on every level. Uh but it covers all the bases. Creepy clown, scare factor, yeah. s- jump scares, oh. um, yeah. gore, everything. But there are some issues with it, in my opinion. There's a lot of issues. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of issues with it. But, I mean, that downgraded it from a 5 to a 4.5 for me. For example, the girl in the beginning, the, the sister, mm-hmm. the, while she was um. still alive... Had a hundred opportunities to kill him. And I mean, she literally beat his butt several times. Like, got him on the ground. And then she's like, get up, get up. But like every good scary movie, stab him one time in in the back and walk away. And then expect them not to get up. And leave the knife in their back. He just, she just witnessed him saw her friend in half. And, and she, she didn't kill him. She had every opportunity to kill him multiple times. She not only got out, she ran away from him the first time. She got out of the chair with her frame being cut up and down. And, <laughs> and she like stabbed him multiple times for him knowing he's going to get back up. Yeah, I mean, she didn't stab him multiple times. She stabbed him and so then, then walked he did away. did the cowardly thing and pulled And stabbed him back, so he pulls it out, and he goes and kills her. With the That's cowardly not. thing. Well, he pulls a gun and finally shoots her, because he knows he's not going to win that battle in the end. So. Yeah, I know, because she was... She was a badass. I think she probably would have made it if he didn't have a gun. But let's be real. She could have killed him, should have killed him, didn't kill him multiple times. Uh, there were a few times, you know, where you're just like, what's going on now? When the when the other sister who showed up to, in the end to pick them up gets the plastic around her face, yeah. I kept saying, stick your finger in there and tear the plastic. It's just plastic. And eventually she did, but yeah. it was like way longer than somebody puts that around. First yeah, thing I'm going to do is rip the plastic She wasn't open. near as tough as her sister was on uh, that her, one. Her hands weren't bound, but anyway... She does some really weird things too. Oh, like once she eyeball. escapes out of the building in the end, her first instinct is to tr- is to run back in. And another it's very odd door. They were in a big abandoned warehouse. like yeah. no, it was apartment building. Well, he called it a warehouse. Oh. And they called the police. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of the things that I go like, oh, you know, I mean, I of course I didn't want her to kill him. I wanted the movie to go on, but I'm just saying, don't even put the potential in there. Um, 
it, and because it just downgrades it a little bit, just a little. Cops end up finding him eating the sister's eating face, the face, eating the face, yes, and then he pulls his gun back out, shoots himself in the mouth, and then come to find out they were blanks. Well, we don't know that they were or, blanks. But because paranormal Because he had a big stuff, hole in the back of his head. But paranormal yeah. stuff started happening. So in the end, there's it leaves the question, because he did blow his brains out. Was he uh, a real psycho killer or? Was he supernatural in some way? Because when he did come to life in the coroner's uh, room, uh, like you said, the lights flickered, the radio came on, all I'd those things out, happened. So out. that would make me believe that it was a supernatural thing, where through the whole movie, I just believed it was some crazy guy in a clown costume. I mean, and the best part about it was he never said a word or made a sound. Yeah, no. No matter it, if he got stabbed or beaten. He got stabbed. I mean, no he words. got a rusty nail through his foot. And just no sound. Mouth open, like he was trying to scream, but never could, never said a word. Yeah. Out of all the times he got stabbed underneath here, in the yep. back, in his foot. Yeah, I forgot he got the scalp. The or two by four the... to the face ten times in a row, and he's still yeah. standing. So, uh, you know, there you go. There it is. And is it paranormal? Or is, is it supernatural? It... Is it, is it, uh, was he just a, a guy who happened to survive shooting himself in the head? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, not really important to the rest of the story because no. it was a fantastic movie. And um, what, par what kind of supernatural comes I out of definitely, his butt look like that? <laughs> definitely uh, recommending that uh, you all go back and watch it if you haven't seen it in a while. So, anyway, that's our review. That's what we think about it. Um, I can't wait to see what we get next to watch. And uh, stay tuned because we have 31 nights of Halloween Horror Movie Reviews all through the month of October. So, yep. every night we will have another one release and we'll tell you all about it. If you like this content, please do us a favor and hit that like button. It helps us out. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Turn on notifications. Do all that good stuff. And tell us what you think down below. Just leave us a comment, anything you want to say. So thank you guys for watching so much, and we will... See you in the next one. Yeah, we will.